So, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today's episode of Research Hour, we are going to look at the last two styles of literature review that we introduced in the first episode of this topic. And so today we are going to look at theoretical review and empirical review. Now, as the name suggests, theoretical review, we are going to establish evidence based on existing theories by previous scholars. And so, as we all know, every theory is backed by some sets of assumptions. You remember the systems theory which falls under functionalism. You remember the class theory or conflict theory which falls under the Marxist perspectives. And so all these theories helps us to derive meaning from different phenomena that researchers are interested in. And so every topic that you decide to work on can be backed by some other theories that you may have come across. And so when you get to the theoretical review, it means that you are going to review these sets of theories and to see how it relates with your topic, your study variables, your objectives. And so by theoretical review, you can decide to start with a specific theory to a more broader perspective. And so the example I gave, for example, we have the systems theory, which is a specific theory, which falls under functionalist perspective. And so you have to cite based on the topic that you are working on. For example, if someone is working on relationships, the relationship between a husband and a wife, or what are the factors that influences a wife and a husband, I mean, to increase the unity or the bond that they share. Someone can decide, decide to say that he's going to use systems theory to analyze the topic. And so by systems theory, you have to now decide what it means by systems theory. You have to establish the assumptions under that theory and relate it, relate those assumptions with your study. One thing that is also important to note is to acknowledge the critiques or the weaknesses of that theory as far as your study is concerned. Now, in theoretical review, you can review as many theories as possible. In the course of the review, it is possible that you may find theories that are contradictory to other theories. In other words, you may use two or more theories that are unrelated. Or you can use two or more theories that are related. And so if you use two or more theories that are unrelated, it means that you have to side with one of the theories and support or declare your support for that theory. And so you state in your study that at the moment, upon all the theories that I have reviewed, theory A or theory B seems to be suitable for this study. You have declared your stand. And so that is how it is done. That is a pre-field review. Now, there's always there's also the case that in some instances you go to the field and you realize that by the information that you have picked, it contradicts with the theory. And so you also have to state that reviewing theory A, B, C, D, after going to the field, you realize that this theory is more applicable. 
I'm speaking in abstract terms because if I want to use specific examples, you may not understand. And so per the topic that you are working on, you have to ensure that you incorporate all these in perspective. And so that is one side of it. Another side of it is to also acknowledge the historical antecedents or historical narrations of what the theory has done over the years or over the past. How did the theory evolve? How did it emerge? How did it metamorphosize? And so you have to state how these theories, even presently there are some theories that are still undergoing modifications. So you can state that this theory in recent times has been applied in this topic by author A, B, C. Now, let's look at the empirical review. The empirical review is also a style or approach of literature review. And so with this one, you are reviewing existing literature to establish a fact or evidence. And by this, you identify authors. There are certain ways you can use to do this. Review the literature. You can decide to use the author. You can also decide to use the theme of your study. You have different themes. You can also decide to arrange them according to geographical locations. What I mean by geographical locations, we are looking at concepts of um, developed countries, developing countries, sub-Saharan Africa, Asian country, and so on and forth. That is how you review. Now, when you decide to also employ the use of time frame, then you review the literature. What we are saying is that already you have the documents with you, you've downloaded all your documents, your articles, your journals, your thesis, whatever that you'll be using in the study. And so, by using empirical review, you can also now say that according to Infinite Research Institute, you know, recently we worked on a survey, and that survey was meant to assess the knowledge and perception of people in the Tamale metropolis with respect to their knowledge on the COVID-19 pandemic. And so we discovered certain findings that are of interest. And so, for example, if you are working in the field of COVID-19, that also relates with the data that we had. You can quote by saying that, for example, according to Infinite Research Institute, in their study conducted in the Tamale Metropolis on the topic assessing the knowledge and per uh, perception of people in the Tamale Metropolis on the coronavirus pandemic. And so, you also include that the survey employed about 180 respondents in the study. What is also in important is for you to include the method that was employed by the author or the entity. And so in the case of Infinite Research Institute, the method that we used was an online survey or online questionnaire were administered through different media platforms. And so that is the method. And what is also interesting to note is to highlight the findings and the conclusions by the, that author. And so in the case of Infinite Research Institute, one of the interesting findings that were discovered was that more than 6% of people within the Tamale metropolis received the attention of their partners the more. That is one of our key findings as far as that survey is concerned. And so that is how empirical review is done. As I said, all this relates with your objectives of the study. The variables you are going to speak in line with the variables 
the research objectives, and what other previous scholars or entities, organizations, whatever they are, as far as their topic aligns with your objectives, you are entitled to use them. And that is how empirical review is conducted. And so, thank you very much for having the time and privilege to listen to us on this episode. Stay tuned for more other research topics in our subsequent episode of Research Hour. Once again, my name is Abdurrahim Imoro. Thank you very much.